morning guys welcome to my very first video um, today I'm gonna just be doing a quick introduction of myself and what I've been doing and how I've been doing it but before we all before I get to all of that uh, I just want to start off with rich dad poor dad one of the very first books that got me on my journey um, started my journey to what I'm trying to achieve in the next 15 years. So that's my goal right now, 15 years. I actually read this every night. Uh, started reading this with my son, who's seven years old right now, um, and he enjoys it. And you know, there's certain words he stumbles across, but I'm, I'm helping him out with that. And you know, we we read it together every night before we go to bed. Uh, he reads a page, I read a page, and then we just do two pages a night. We're not going crazy. We're not like reading for hours on hours and on end. Um, so far, we're we're up to the point, up to the part where uh, Robert and and Mike, his best friend, is was told to make money, and they literally went to get um, they collected toothpaste tubes to melt um, to get the lead and produce nickels out of cast iron like you know casters or whatever they call them um but of course you know that's illegal and uh i explained that to my son and he he was just laughing hysterically because um at seven years old you know all that is new to him he didn't know what the word counterfeit meant um he didn't know what m making money meant um but what i explained it to him he he was like, "Oh, so um, when they told them to, told them the boys to make money, they actually went to make the money instead of working and making the money." So he, he now he understands that, and there's a lot of uh, things in here that that is very helpful in explaining to him uh, what you know what school is, and you know I don't agree that. You, you eliminate school entirely because you know you obviously need to communicate um, and school is for certain people uh, people do need school later on but the fundamentals the elementary stuff you know like grade school and, and middle school it's learning how to social and learning how to interact with people so school is there for a lot of benefits um, don't get me wrong I, I you know I went to school myself I, I graduated from college a four-year degree uh, just to put that out there um, am I against college uh, depending on what you do so everyone has you know their their life you know whatever goals they want to do not college is not necessarily um, for all of that because let's just say you're a skilled blacksmith iron worker and you know how to work heavy machinery. I don't believe you need a college degree to do that stuff. Um, experience, time in the field, uh, and your ambition and your passion for doing that does not require you to read books, you know, day in, day out, and take exams. So, um, with that being said, I wanted to make a quick introduction of myself. I, I have, you know, Robert's podcast running in the back. He's one of many one of many people that I follow and read about and um, I nitpick certain things. Uh, I believe Robert Kiyosaki himself says that he's not into the stock market. Um, I dab a little. I, I'm not too much. In, I mean, I shouldn't say not too much. I'm trying to get more momentum in it. Um, but I was heavily influenced into doing real estate. Uh, I have about six properties right now that are cash flowing um different states uh and you know it's it's doing great uh you know knock on wood so you know th there's a lot of things that that can drive your passion to to be wealthy and i am believe it or not 15 years out i'll be 59 and a half i can actually collect my roth ira without any penalties so that goes to show, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm aging myself, but there is a lot of information out there on the, you know, I don't think anyone even calls it World Wide Web anymore, but on the internet, there is a lot of wealth information, like just pure information. Uh, obviously, some of them are very 
um, deceiving and, and, you know, how to make a million dollars in like a month or two. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about information from individuals who are successful. I follow um, a good amount of them uh, and, and I read about them. I have a whole collection of books. I do want to ever so often introduce the books that I, I read and I find interesting. Um, not a full book review, but Rich Dad, Poor Dad, definitely this is something you need to read. And if you have kids and, and you want to kind of like help them get that step into uh, instead of playing video games or on the iPhone or iPad or, and playing you know minecraft or whatever at that age right now i would say sit down with them uh pick up a book that that's easy to comprehend and i think this one is definitely one of them i i don't i don't think one of warren buffett's um you know how to analyze a stock and in intrinsic value uh would be beneficial for a seven year old right now maybe a little older when he's in like middle school or high school but uh this was a very simple read uh, for, for young and old uh, adults. Uh, and, you know, it definitely helps my kid think because I, I see it when I'm reading to him. His eyes is lighting up and saying, oh, my God, like this, that's true. You know, like he, he, he he's as he's reading it, as I'm reading it to him, he's understanding um, not just me telling him, but it's it's written on paper. And I know this is old school. A lot of people just using Audible and uh, reading from the Kindle, but it's it's a little difficult um, to read on electronic when you're trying to read with someone. I think paper is just. I mean, I can sit next to him and we can just guide through, but you know, electronically it's a little more difficult. And I don't think we want to sit in front of the screen in the middle of the night and you know that whole blue light situation. I want him to go to bed. Um, so we we take it easy. He reads one page, I read one page, and he stumbles across the words. I help him out. So um, so not only is he reading and understanding it, I'm also there with him to read it and follow up with him. And it refreshes my memory about the entire book, and which is very helpful because I found this book to be one of many inspirations to what I've become myself. Uh, Robert, of course, he has other programs now, and, and he has a whole series under his Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, which I've also picked up uh, from uh, other authors uh, in regards to like tax and CPA and other information. So those get into more detail, but Rich Dad, Poor Dad is just the general idea of, you know, mentality wise, like people not needing to go to school or you go to school for certain things. Um, so, so that's definitely one of the things I wanted to introduce as myself, as a person, as a dad, and why I'm starting this, um, channel and having this video. So I want to say, join me, uh, hopefully I'll have some interesting contents for you to enjoy even more going into the future in regards to financing and wealth and how I pick and choose my properties, how do I pick and choose my stocks. Um, and I also have other things. I, I do other uh, jobs. And uh, one thing I do, I love doing actually, is I love picking up old or used furniture for free for the most times, uh, whether people throw it out. I fix it up, refinish it, you know, and, and you know, the wood starts. Like, this desk behind me, this desk in front of me, they were both free. Um, they're, they're both Ikea desk. I took them in. I, I redid the, um, the drawers because they sag and, and it's like, uh, you know, it's like a common thing with Ikea drawers. They just sag and sag. And so, um, I bought new, I went to Home Depot. I bought new boards, cut it to size and, and reinforced it with like, you know, a, a, a piece of wood going down the center. So it doesn't have that, that boat like shape and same goes for this one. Um, this table I picked up yesterday, literally yesterday. Uh, from a guy that just wanted to get rid of it because there's like water marks on it. Of course, you can't tell right now. Um, I actually have a mat over it and it's perfect for my other laptop and my screen. Now, of course, you see Robert there and, and um, the rich dad, poor dad. So 
no more ranting. I will definitely put out more videos going forward and hope you guys can join me.